you clicked on this video. Today I have a bag review for you and it is the cutest, most adorable satchel by La Sport Sag. It is the La Sport Sag Small Everyday Satchel and what makes this bag so special <laughs> is that it is unfortunately not sold in the United States. It is actually sold in Japan. So it is a Japanese release. However, I will have all the details down below about how you could pick up this satchel if, if you so choose. <laughs> so this is the beautiful Puffy Blossoms pattern and it is so detailed. I want to bring it in a little bit closer so you all can really see. You know, it's kind of like embroidery. However, it's not because there isn't thread used. It is more, I don't know how to describe it, but I hope you all can see the beautifulness of it, the gorgeousness of it, if those are words. <laughs> Here's the base so you all can see. There is a little strip down here that helps to secure the structure of the bag. It also comes with these beautiful gold zippers Y'all know how much I love when bags do this and brands. And they usually have silver La Sport Sag zippers, but these are gold and I love them because lately as I've gotten older, I have really been growing a love and appreciation for, for things that are gold. <laughs> I can, I'm kind of late to the game today because I know a lot of people love gold jewelry and gold bracelets, but I'm just now getting into all of that and I love it. I used to be a silver girl like all through my 20s and high school years, but gold is looking so sophisticated and so fabulous, especially when they add them as details on these bags. So you can see we have the little top handles as is definitely what you should do for a satchel, right? Having these wonderful top handles, I love it. The back is identical to the front and it's just gorgeous. So let's go ahead and get right into the features and the details. I'll be taking out my things and showing you all the interior. So here is the strap that is adjustable. Again, with the gold details, it is adjustable. It's on a swivel and it's gorgeous. <laughs> the straps themselves are so easy to use and very comfortable. So in this very first pocket here, and the zippers are, oh, I can't say enough about them. If you ever felt a La Sport Sag zipper, they have a little, I don't know how to describe it, but there's a little piece that's on the tip of the zipper. It feels almost like, um, almost like a mistake actually, but these are very smooth and so enjoyable to use. So I'm gonna zip this on across and inside I have my phone in the front pocket. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. And I have the iPhone 13, the regular size. And it's such a large pocket that I'm pretty sure those pros and bigger size phones, Samsungs will fit with ease. So let's go ahead and do the back since the back is identical. In the back, I don't have anything in the back, but you can see that beautiful mauve color. It is so gorgeous. And I'm so glad. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I picked this bag is because it has that light interior. A lot of the black bags that La Sport Sac does, especially lately, has been having that black interior that I'm not a fan of. So again, we've got double zippers at the top, which is my absolute favorite. And I'm gonna zip it down. It opens all the way down, almost like a third of the way on each side. 
And again, take a look. You see that band there? Just another sign of the quality and care that went into creating this bag. So here's my items, what I have in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly kind of pull them out because you guys have seen mostly all of these things before. So I have attached to the back wall, I have my pen. Next I have, I don't think I have anything else. Nope, nothing else in that little slip pocket. There's also a zipper attached to this pocket. And inside of that, I've got some masks. And of course, I've got the tags. So here are the tags that came with it. There was another tag as well. Here it is. Yeah, it says Japan exclusive. So I have all of that in there. Go ahead and zip that back up. Again, it's got that gold zipper, y'all. Love it. Okay, so starting here, I'm gonna pull out my combination. I use this as a sunglasses case and my reader's case. So both of my glasses fit with ease in here. And as you can see, it still stays flat. I got this case from Dollar Tree. So next I'm gonna pull out my Kipling Gardenia. This is one of my newer items. It's in the pattern Cherry Glitz. And I just love this. Look at the little cherries here, how they're sparkling. And this is embroidered. So the leaf and stem is embroidered. Now it did come with the cute little furry monkey, but I opted to put on the little metal monkey because I thought it looked a little bit more glamorous with the cherry glitz pattern. And here we've got a beautiful zipper. I love that the zipper comes all the way down here. So you can open this little case up nice and wide. And there is a gusset right here. So it keeps everything inside. Now this little case took the place of my Sanrio characters pouch. Hold on one. And moment. so I've got my little mini composition book in here. And I also have some important papers and coupons. So this case is nice and slim and flat and it really does serve a great purpose in a size bag like this because you can slip it in any little pocket of area that you have available. I love this, I love it, love it, love it. Next I have, you guys know I have this, my little sports sack, Square Cosmetic inside. And see, and this is what I'm talking about, this particular little sports set one. When I feel the tip, it does have a little piece of like a little raised bump at the very end. And these zippers don't have that. But it has all my usual things in there. My charger cord, my Ikea <laughs> little pouch with my keys in it. I've got my Airgasm earbuds. I've got my regular earbuds. So it has pretty much everything that I need on a daily basis. Zip that right up. Next I have this cute little Hello Kitty container. I opted to put Tic Tacs in here, so it has my mints in there. It is so cute and handy. And of course, I have to thank the Daily Baggage for this little friend mail gift. Thanks, girl. <laughs> and I have my Revlon and Barbie collaboration. This is a little nail file set. I love this. So convenient. I can't tell you how many times I've opened this up and used this because I have been splitting my nails and breaking them left and right lately. So this has really come in handy. I also have this cute little pocket bag. Oh, it's so adorable. It's a little cupcake one. These are on sale now at Bath and Body Works. And I believe I've got the little Christmas. No, I don't think I have a Japanese cherry blossom in here. Yeah, Japanese cherry blossom in here. I love this. I would have gone on ahead because it does have the gold hook. I thought that would be cute to hook it on the outside of the bag, but it does hang lower than the bag. So I just opted to put it inside. Next, I have my little spray here. I love this. This is the Japanese Cherry Blossom by Body Fantasies. It smells really divine. <laughs> I like to have that. And then I have, of course, my Kipling Creativity in the size small with the gunmetal details. And I have been using this cute little creativity pouch as like a combination of, on one side I've got my tissues, which I don't know why I didn't think of this before, because the small size holds the tissues perfectly. <laughs> and then on the other side, I've got like some hair ties and some lipstick and Carmex, scissors. And in the center, I've got like a little Medi-Kit. I've got <laughs> some Ricola, some Band-Aids, etc. 
a little Prairie Revo eyewear, a little cleaner for your glasses. So this little pouch is housing pretty much everything that I need and I love it. And I just love the Kipling zippers. And this is in the print signature embossed. Next, I've got a little plastic bag for when I go out shopping. And I just put that in the other slip pocket. So I hope you all can see inside. It's really made so well. I love this bag. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put all my items right back in here because you know what's next. I need to talk to you all about the pros and the cons of this bag. Because now that I've had this bag and I've carried it for about a week or so or I had it in my possession about a week because I, I must tell y'all when I get new bags it is so hard for me to jump out of the lug ranger it is just so perfect for me that lug ranger is amazing and a lot of times I'm like why do I even try to get into another bag but I digress <laughs> So everything's packed right neatly in there. Nothing's on top of anything. I love this. And one of the number one reasons why I opted to get this bag is because I realized I did not have a nylon bag that was black in my collection. The black bags that I do have are, are leather. And so I wanted a lightweight, cute little bag like this and I found it. So now let's get to the pros and cons. So the pros are, this is definitely a unique looking bag. When you carry this, it is something that you will be the only one to have around you. The puffy blossoms, the way that they feel is so amazing. Another pro is that this bag is made of 100% nylon. It says it in the tag and it says it twice. So the outside is made of 100% nylon and the inside. And I was so pleased and surprised to see the word nylon in the tag because usually nowadays things that are made of nylon say 100% polyamide because polyamide is nylon. And so I was shocked to actually see that word nylon inside of the bag, pleasantly shocked. And another pro is definitely all these beautiful gold zippers and how the zipper feels so substantial in, in my hand. I love it. I also love just the look of it. The look of it is so beautiful. Now I wanna get to the cons because the cons is honestly, y'all know, it. What it's what has me reconsidering the bag most of the time so the way that these straps feel to me is a con they're very silky um yes they can stand up on their own but they are not as stiff as the usa la sport sack straps that come on those bags that you purchase from the sports sack website here in the united states and i wish i had a bag right next to me i don't but you all have seen my mickey doodle print and you all have seen the the picnic one it is so adorable and the straps are so sturdy and strong i i wish they would have given this bag those types of straps these straps are silkier and so i guess i wouldn't have minded it so much if i hadn't known about how the other straps feel so that to me i don't know why that's such a big con to me but it is it's a huge con and then another con for me is I cannot, for the life of me, get the shape of this bag back to the way that I would like it. So when it was shipped to me, it was all folded up and kind of like misshapen. And so I want it to be able to, as you can see right here, there's wrinkles here. And I still think that through time, those wrinkles will, you know, go away but as of right now they're still here so to me that is a con so you have to be careful you know the sports sack how you ship these bags <laughs> but other than that that's it y'all I'm, I'm pleased I'm happy with this bag and I will keep you posted on whether or not I am going to keep this bag or return it because it's the holidays now it's around that time and so I do have till January 31st to make my decision and so I want to make sure I love a bag because if y'all looked at the price of this bag it's like 130 something dollars plus tax and so it's a pricey bag for the sports sack and so I want to make sure it's something that I absolutely love so the verdict is still out but I definitely wanted to make this video because I did make um some you what well, Instagram stories <laughs> 
I made some Instagram stories on this bag. And those were my first impressions. And so now having this for a while, which I like to do with my YouTube videos, wait a little while so I can give you a more realistic, updated, you know, report. And so before I go, just wanted to show you, in case you were wondering the size of this bag, if you have the Lug Mini Ranger, it is about the same size as the Lug Mini Ranger, except for this bag can absolutely hold more because of the base. The base of this bag, is bigger than the lug ranger and so it's going to hold a lot more but i wanted to make sure i showed you all a little comparison there and then before i go i wanted to say thank you again to andrea for sending the cute little kipling monkey so this monkey's name is puny and i think it looks adorable on this bag so thank you again andrea and thanks everyone for watching i will catch you in the next one grace and peace bye